Saturday. We work today, so off to a late start. And um, what we're gonna do start off our appetizer. Um, we're gonna do uh, stuffed cherry peppers. Um, something nice and simple, but um, you can pay a lot of money to have these already stuffed, or you can do them yourself. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So what I'm gonna do is first off I'm gonna get these peppers out of the jar and I am going to save the brine because a lot of times you buy these in the store that packed in olive oil you do that but it's kind of expensive and if you're gonna eat them right away I'd say just keep them in the brine if you're gonna put them in the refrigerator for a while and um, keep them for a while they don't usually last too long in my house then I would say yeah go ahead and put them with the olive oil but I just assume keep them in the brine when you take them out um, whether you put them in a dish with some olives and cheese, just drizzle a little olive oil on it to get that flavor. But you really don't have to use or uh, pack the whole jar in olive oil. So, so I'm going to go ahead and take these out. And what I do is I save the brine. I'm going to put them all in this nice um, stainless steel container. I'm going to save the jar. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll just take out these peppers because I'm going to clean them. Okay, you can see you get quite a few in a jar of these pastine peppers. And I'm going to get a uh, knife. And I'm just going to take the, uh, I'm going to kind of squeeze it down so it kind of, the stem sticks out. And I'm just going to very gently cut it. And then I'm going to take out the uh, seeds because I'll leave more room for the Italian ham and the provolone that I'm going to put in there. So I'm going to clean all these and um, just put these, kind of drape them around the uh, cutting board for now. And once I get those all cleaned up, I'll uh, show you what we're going to do to stuff them. Okay, so we get all of our peppers cleaned. What I have here is a nice strip of prosciutto, Italian ham, and a half of a um, piece of the provolone so it fits in there quite nice so you can see that okay I'm gonna roll this up and you can use a uh, block provolone and kind of uh, just put in the center I like using the uh, sliced provolone and then you kind of just gauge your uh, pepper as to how much of uh, cheese and ham it can take and you just press it in with your thumb your thumbs like that, not too hot, you don't want to break the pepper, okay? And then you just put it right in the um, jar, just like that, to so fill, fill these all up, and then we're going to put the brine back in. Okay, so, so you can see an overshed head shot here. I'm going to cut that up in half, okay? And we're just going to put it right in there, take our thumb and just kind of lightly press it in, okay? And then it goes in the jar. And that's pretty much it. Okay, one other thing I uh, failed to mention was um, if you should happen to get a, um, some of this brine um, into a cut on your finger, owie, it hurts. <laughs> okay, so we filled up our last uh, pepper and put it in the jar. Okay, I'm going to take the um, brine and just pour that back right in. Okay, because you know what happens with cheese with a brine that has salt in it, um, it makes it nice and hard and crumbly. So we figure that out on the feta. So, And then we just take this nice bottle. It's filled with all these nice stuffed cherry peppers. And again, you could use olive oil if you like, but I just drizzle it on later. And that goes right in the fridge. So, now I have this leftover nice provolone in the Italian ham. I'll make a sandwich out of that. I have this nice rolled Italian ham. And you can almost guess, I won't give Wolfie a hot pepper, so he's just going to get the Italian ham with the provolone. So sit, Wolfie, sit. Okay, easy, easy. Easy, good boy. So, as usual, Wilfie gets the first taste. And he's dead.
digging it. Oh yeah, he likes it. So, and uh, we'll see what uh, we can drum up tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.